Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. I'm working on um, a trifold for Naughty Bunny today. So I thought I'd bring you along and and kind of um, show you how I how I do those. Um, so if you're uh, new here, welcome. If you're a regular, welcome back. I really appreciate all of you and I hope you'll subscribe if you aren't subscribed. So let's get going. I came up with this originally I had a check and I had to do something with it and it was like a trifold check and then I at the uh, thrift store I found these card stocks I cut this off a little bit to fit in my book but they were eight and a half by eleven and they were all pre um, scored to make like a brochure you could print a brochure on on them so I coffee dyed. This one's just sprayed on, I believe. Um, and I cut this to the length of my page. This is the page I'm going to end up putting it on. So I wanted it to fit on there. Like that. Now I did glue on part of my magnet. Because I use a magnet to keep them shut. And that one has to dry really well before I put the other one on it's easier that way um, and then I can start decorating and I've got some things ready and I'm uh, kind of take you along with me all right so I do have it folded instead of like a brochure like this I have it folded like an accordion and I have the flat back to the right if I'm gonna put it on my right or the right side of the page you do the opposite if, you know, I would fold it like this if I was going to put it on, uh, fold it like this if I was going to put it on the, the left side of the page. But I'm doing a right side one, so I have it folded like this. And I'll show you how you attach it in a little bit. I probably won't attach it into the book right away, but I'll attach, I'll show you how it's done. So... This is where it's going to go. It's a nice sturdy page, which is cardstock, which is really important if um, you want to use one of these because you're going to be opening it out like this or like this. And either way, you've got to have a sturdy page for this to hang on to. Okay, get this out of the way. And get started. Okay, I said I I did my my magnet on there. I'll put the other one on in a little while. Uh, I'm going. I'm I usually like to do some kind of a ruffle on these, and that's what's going to cover up my magnet on this side. And the magnet just keeps them from flopping out when they're in the book. Um, but to help me get it up out of the book I usually put a tab underneath this sticking out so I'm gonna do that and I got these they were printed uh, a digital whale tails because I don't have a whale tail um, punch and I think it was from Artie Mays I'm pretty I'm pretty sure so I'm gonna put this on below the magnet so that it sticks out here. So I have something to kind of grab onto it to pull it out. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on by putting glue in the middle of it. I'll have to wait now to get it down. But um, I, you, you can, you know, put it on but I like the edges to be a little loose so I kind of will put some on either side of the sewing that I have on here and kind of right down the center now it's going to stick out the bottom so I'm going to wait and see how long it is because I'll be cutting that off and I'll use it on a snippet somewhere so I think maybe that's about how long it is okay so this 
is going to go just on the edge. It's going to just touch over just a, a hair. Okay. And this is just a ripped piece of fabric, and then I ruffled it by folding it under at the machine. I have a video on that. It's an older video, but you should be able to find it if you need to, if you haven't made ruffles before. So you can just see a little touch of that fuzz on this side. Okay. And I used Fabri-Tac because this is fabric on paper, but fabric. So I always use Fabri-Tac for that. Okay, I need to get these glue things back in. For a while I had a habit. I always put them in here when I took them off, and I keep forgetting to do that. But I'm going to try to get back in that habit because then I don't lose them. Okay, so this is kind of going to be the top of what shows. So I kind of do a little bit more on here, and I don't put a pocket on the front or anything. So I've got some cheesecloth here. And... Let's see, I took uh, one of my um, bunny pictures, and I'm going to put that on the cheesecloth with um, some glue stick. I usually do this on something else, and I don't have anything out for it, but oh well, as long as I get it on there. Uh, there'll be other glue on it after. I like to put it on the cheesecloth not straight. You know, like if if I put it on straight, it would be like this. And then all the sides would, would be the same. So if I do this with the um, glue stick, now I can go and cut this off and just kind of leave some hanging off the edge and it doesn't ravel straight up and down so I like to do that okay and unfold that there there so now I have nice cheesecloth and this is going to go on here and I'm going to kind of stick it underneath this rather than over the top of it. Let's see. Where should I put it over the top? No, I like it under. So when I'm ready to put it on, uh, I think I'll use Fabri-Tac again because it does have the cheesecloth on it. Whew. I'm kind of, um, I had play practice this morning and this afternoon we're leaving, we're going to um, go out to eat and then go on a sunset cruise. A group that we're in has has um, chartered the cruise for just our group. And it's a big enough group that it filled. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've never been on a sunset cruise. If this is on... Um, the Gulf of Mexico, out of St. Petersburg. Okay. So I got glue on there. I'm going to kind of pull this back and put this on here. There. So that's part of that. Now I like to put something down here on the bottom. Um, I'm going to use book page. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just going to kind of rip this, this off. And... I want it sticking out so far. This is kind of a crunchy paper 
falls apart pretty easily. So I need it about down to here. And I need it to cover this spot, but then just slip underneath here. So I'm going to do it about here. We'll see how it fits. Oh, too big. Get a little more off. Oh. Yeah, that'll be good. And I'm going to do a little, I can take a little bit of that off. I will do some distressing on the edge. This will be underneath, but just in case it shows. And, come on, I left it off too long, I guess. There we go. So, this is something that I make that it, you know, it takes a while to make, but I really love it in my journals. It's fun. Okay. So now I'm going to get this up. So this can slide underneath. And underneath here. tiny bit off there that went over the edge okay now let's see I'm thinking I want to put this image on there this again is very cracky paper from an old book I got go all over my hands Just gonna kind of rip it out around it. Okay. That's a little big. Gotta get the bunny a little bit more to the edge here. gonna work and I think I'd like a little something else underneath it yet maybe some um, paper doily or lace something like that so this will be here and I'm thinking let's see I've got some different things over here how about this I think I'm going to do that. Put some glue on the doily. On the edges. I had a cup of coffee and I don't drink coffee very often and I can feel I'm getting jittery. I usually drink non-caffeinated stuff. Herbal tea. Okay, put that up to the edge right there. And then I'll put glue on here. And 
I need to get my this journal done because I want to give it to my brother for his birthday and it's April and he lives out in Montana okay let's see put that there I have some little things that maybe I could also put on like I have numbers and stuff this one, maybe if I, uh, put some distress ink on it so it's not bright white, I could put number, number down here. Do I want anything else? Balance it a little bit. I actually like that. Got the black on too. So I'm going to put this up here and this down here. Anything else? Maybe this word up here. And I'll have three things glued on. That's better than two. Do things in three. This is one of those that I made by taking a label maker and then I copied them. If anybody's interested in that, I I you could um send me your your email address and I'll email the file to you and you can print it off to put it in the comments or I'll put mine in the comments and you can email me privately whoops where'd it go come on I would just have it in my hand where'd it go don't you hate when that happens? There it is. Oh, phew. I thought, how could it be mixed in with the others and I can't see it? Okay. You know, you can always put a little cheesecloth or something underneath stuff too. But I think with what I've got on there, it's good. I'll slide that up here. Put my word on. Can tell I'm gonna have to put a little more glue underneath this picture because it's sticking up. Whew, almost put it on upside down. Okay, and my number down here. Okay, so this is the part that will show in when you turn the page. It'll it'll look like this. Now we're going to be pulling it out and both ways. So I usually do some pockets or something in here and I thought I would do some little tucks with rabbits on them. So this will um, open up and you'll have some tags in here. I might have to stick this under a book afterwards to get it to lay flat. It just doesn't seem to be holding down. Well, I'll do that later. Okay, so um, because it's a tuck, two sides, the bottom and the side that I want closed. Make sure this will be okay for, for closing. Okay, and then this one, I'll do my two sides. And like I said, this will have, have uh, tags in. Um, I Sometimes I use napkin, or but I didn't have any bunny napkins or anything. Um, yeah, I can add 
uh, labels up here if I think it's too plain. It depends on how big the the thing is that I end up putting in it. But, you know, I could put a label like up here um, just to make it not so blank up there. In fact, maybe I will do that. Okay. Now, again, like I said, I could wait until I get that that um whatever i decide to put in here but uh it'll look good okay now we also have the other side to do the magnet is under here so the new magnet is going to go right here so i uh, i'll put that on in a little bit all right now i thought what i would do on this side this is the side I usually put put uh, napkin on or something like that. And I'm thinking this was off of a paper placemat that I coffee uh, dyed. And it got nice and grungy dark. And I think I'm going to make this into a pocket, like a pocket here, here, and a tuck there. So I'm going to put glue around along the bottom to close the pocket and this side will get glue on it and I'm going to be putting glue where the fold is. So I'm going to start by doing this. I'm going to put this down. Right along the bottom and this kind of goes up with the edge. And I'm going to put some glue right on this fold. And over here. see how that works so I have to remember that I'm folding this that will be folded like this and this one will be folded like this okay I have to give it enough space to fold That'll work, it's just that it's not dry yet, so it's not wanting to stick down. And I noticed there was a little rip here, so I'm going to put a little extra glue right there. That's what happens when you use paper. But this side I'm going to leave open, right here. Really, before I put this on, I should have put the, um, I'm going to take this back off. Hopefully it won't rip too bad. It shows how good the glue is. Okay. Sorry about that. I like to put the the paper the, or the fabric that I'm going to be um, attaching it to the page with. This will be how where it attaches to the page. So I'm going to put a piece of fabric on here, um, halfway on, halfway off, so that it folds in half. So um, here. When you, I used to use this on my hair. It's a it's a hair straightener, and I found out it it's kind of slick to use, kind of as a little mini iron in my craft room. I don't use it anymore for my hair. My hair has gotten very curly as we've gotten older, and when it was first doing that, and I was, I was, um, would straighten the waves in my hair. But now I've got curls all over the place. It's really funny because I always had stick straight hair. 
just gotten older. So you can use these to press ribbon or lace or fabric. You just pull it through like you would your hair. So I think what I'm going to do, it looks like it's heated up. I'm going to fold this in half so I can see where the fold is. And I'm going to use this to kind of press it. I had this in my bathroom drawer and now I keep it in the thought one day, oh I, I don't want to get my iron out just for that. And I thought, what about that hair straightener? It's very hot though. You have to be careful. So let's see here. I know it's longer than I need, but I'm not slick. You don't have to get your iron out if you've got one of these. I don't use it on my hair anymore. And I'm going to turn it off, put it aside to cool down. Okay, so now I have kind of like where my where my fold is. So I know that this is going to go on here. And the other side is where it's going to go on to the page in the book. So I'm not gluing that down at all yet. So I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. Which hopefully didn't close up. And run some glue along the side. See, I got so excited about putting that tuck on there, I forgot about this, but it'll go over it now. All right. I'm going to stick this over the top so I can cut off the excess. And line that up. This I will leave open and we'll then put it on the page when I'm ready to put it in the book. Okay. See, that's loose. I'll cut this even with the bottom. I'll bring in the frame. I'll cut this even with the top. Now is when I should put this on. And if I wouldn't have been able to get it off nicely, I could have done another one. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac now. To put it right up to the edge. Okay, there, so that side's done. Now this side, I think the glue's dried, dried now. I also could put, uh, I'll probably put some labels and things on there depending on, on what I put in here. I probably will want to do that, but I have to put the other magnet on. So my other magnet, I have it sitting here with the right side up so I know which side to put the glue on. Put some glue on it. And then I'm going to close this up and drop the magnet and it'll go right where it needs to go. Okay. I'm going to open it up because I want to cover that up. Now the front got covered up by the ruffle. This one, I'm going to put a bunny and I put a little cheesecloth under it and put it like up to the edge and that's going to cover up that, that magnet. So well, I'll use my Fabri-Tac. 
So I've done lots of different things in here. Like I said, sometimes I'll put a kind of a spread of, of um, napkin. Made one for a Halloween. And I kind of had the pumpkin napkin across the bottom. I've done bird things that go all the way across. So you just play with it and do what you want and put on what you want on your things. And that's what this is going to look like. If I got some of that under there that I wanted. Ouch. I'm going to hold it on because this is a the magnet does stick out a bit. I'm still kind of going to be able to hide that. All right. So then when I close it, that will look like this. So when I pull this out, that's what it looks like on this side. I might stencil or something else. I'll see when I get to the, the putting in the book. This will be then the other side. I'll stick some tags in here. And this will go on to this page by gluing over the edge. So this will actually be glued right here. And this will show on that page. And that's how it will be attached into the book. So when you get to this, you'll see this. You'll be able to pull it out. It will be attached like this, and then you'll be able to pull it out like this, and then this will be attached underneath like this. So, you'll see it in there when I do the flip through. So that's a trifold uh, that I made for, um, I got some glue on here, darn it, um, for Naughty Bunny. And that's it. Got lots more to make for Naughty Bunny, so thanks for being with me, and I hope you enjoyed um, me working on this trifold and that you can use it in some of your journals. So thanks for being here. This is Carol from Friendly Quail saying bye.